I just want to make a like a um, declaration because I see we got a lot of new people on the channel. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I truly appreciate it. I know I've been quiet. Y'all haven't really got to see my personality because I've been so focused on getting some things accomplished for my channel, for my business, for my life. Um, so hopefully you guys will join me for the live so we can get to know each other. Um, for those of you that have been with me, my day ones, my not so day ones, my just now, it don't really matter how long you've been with me. You with me, you with me. Um, but for those of you, thank you so much for continuing to watch me, continuing to have patience with me. So other than that, that's all I got. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in every day, watching my video. Know that I'm here. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Hey, Air Signs. It's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This will be for June the 5th, 2020. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So I'm on Rising in Venus, June 5th, 2020. Let's see what messages we have. God damn it. For Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So I'm on Rising in Venus. What guidance do we have for Gemini? All right, Gemini, we have God of the Arts. It says the artist within you is about to emerge. Okay, so something about to come out of something. Okay, see what messages we have for Libra. All right, Libra, we have God of the Underworld. It says something which no longer serves you is about to end. Let's see what messages we have for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. So we have angel of abundance. It says a steady flow of abundance is about to manifest. So I'm going to read the, the bottom two because I don't know if this was supposed to be for Aquarius or not. But mm. So we got angel of healing. It says the angels have felt your sadness and have shown up today to send you healing. And the underlying energy that I feel like would have been is the angel of prayer. It says ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance. Okay. All right. So let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? So I'm rising. Yes. Y'all, I know my little table be shaking when I be shuffling. Because it's a shaky table. It's an old table. <laughs> Got it from my grandma. So. I'm sorry. I see what messages, what messages, what guidance do we have? This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for June the 5th, 2020. Messages, guidance for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Some of y'all are dealing with a low vibration partnership. Or some of y'all are afraid. Or maybe you're afraid to, to stop putting in Ace of Swords. Yes. So a lot of you guys are dealing with some fear. Some negative or fear-based fears around a cycle ending. Some sort of partnership. It's a toxic partnership though. I feel like you have clarity about it. Nine of Cups here. Seven of Wands. I feel like you're trying to resist being selfish. This is what it looks like. Like you know a, a partnership is toxic, but you don't want to be selfish. What's selfish about choosing better for yourself? Or choosing what's best for yourself? That's why you're here. God made you an individual for a reason. If we were meant to care for other people, we would be housed in one fucking body with other people. We got one body for one mind, one heart, one path, one vision. You have to do what is best for you on this in this existence. I know it's hard to detach from the feelings, to detach from the fear, but that is your goal. That is your purpose here to go through these lessons, to learn the lessons, to evolve, to grow, expand, to move forward. It's an ever-changing cycle. So here it's Almost as though you're aware that you're moving into this new existence, but you're resistant. You're resisting just truly allowing your concerns to fade away because for a lot of you guys, you don't want to seem selfish. But choosing to do what's best for you is not selfish. So we have, and I'm, I'm not talking about choosing what to, what to, to, I'm not talking about choosing to do what's best for you at the 
you know, at, at, at the downfall of another or hurting another. That's not what I'm talking about. It's not, I'm not talking about feelings. If you're not physically hurting a person, if you're not, you know, putting your hands on a person, manipulating a person, um, preventing someone else from being able to do what's best for them, making the right decision for yourself in a high vibration is what we're here to do. You do be compassionate of others. I'm not telling you not to be compassionate, but I don't feel like this is what's happening here. I feel like someone's resisting either being truthful about something that has begun for them or just truly making a decision to walk away from something that is toxic because they're trying not to seem selfish, trying to resist um, being selfish. But lover's card, food energy here, it's time for you to take a leap of faith. It's time for you to walk in faith here. We got the three of ones here. I feel like you're having a lot of patience trying to make sure things fall in order. Eight of cups in reverse. But what you're doing is you're preventing yourself from moving toward this new path. Knight of wands here based off your impulses. So now, wait a minute. Some of you guys, I'm going to be real with you. This may not be you. This may be someone you're dealing with because this, this is almost like you have clarity that something is over. And I feel like you're in a space of just becoming happy i feel like i feel like there's a resistance either to a lover from the past or someone from your past that you had a toxic partnership with i feel like this is what's happening some of you guys may even be realizing that someone you dealt with in the past was toxic eight of cups in reverse that's someone not moving on so some of you guys could even be dealing with a, an ex that won't move on someone that is toxic they could be stalking you they could be doing crazy stuff acting on impulse So this can go one or two ways. Either some of y'all got a crazy ex that is legit, like not letting go, or you're wanting to let go of a situation, but you're in a space of not wanting to seem selfish in your desire. So you could be in a space of kind of having patience, like tethering the line a little bit. So let's clarify. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Why is this Ace of Swords here? Judgment. Decision needs to be made. So somewhat, now someone else could have made a decision Emperor here, page of one, someone could have really made a decision based on what they felt within inside of themselves, really gained control of their desires. Nine of cups here, someone could be in a space of seeing what's making them happy or seeing that they want to be happy and feeling as though they need to gain control to find that. Four of cups in reverse, world card, someone's putting an end, an end to being discontent, feeling stuck emotionally within a situation. King of swords, hangman with... The chariot and the seven of swords, someone's perspective has changed. Someone realizes that maybe a situation is unstable. Someone could have found their motivation to move forward. You could have found their motivation to move forward. This could be Gemini energy here. King of swords with the magician. Both of these have Gemini um, associated with them. Um, but this can also be just someone that is manifesting their truth by speaking, like really telling the truth about what it is that they desire. So some of you guys could also, if this is someone telling you something, and you don't like what is being said. You could be in a space of feeling as though you just need to have patience, um, resisting, letting go. But I do not feel this is you. I'm going to just be real. So we have Nine of Cups here. Ten of Swords in reverse. Three of Pentacles here. Nine of Wands. So someone is being very persistent here. I feel like someone is really in the space of wanting to embrace moving forward. Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Someone is no longer holding holding back. Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Someone's letting go of whatever they were holding on to. I feel like this is a severance of something that someone felt was stable. Okay. So for some of y'all, this could like it legit could be an ex that maybe thought that you know. However, they had the situation was stable. Say, for instance, you guys became like friends with benefits or something. They probably thought it was secure, but it was a toxic partnership and you could be in a space of moving away from it. The underlying energy is temptation. Now, some of you guys, I feel like whatever this is, you want to be happy, so you're resisting it. I feel like you feel like it's something that could keep you bound in being unhappy. I feel like you found your motivation to move forward. And I'm going to be real with you. If this is not you with temptation and this eight of cups in reverse, someone could have walked away from you. Um, could have felt as though the relationship that someone shared with you was toxic. But either way it go, if it's toxic to one party, it's toxic to the other. 
Seven of Wands. It's not. You don't have a one-sided toxic relationship. If it's toxic, it's, fuss, it's fucking toxic. Like both parties are having toxic behavior in the relationship. Calling someone toxic is not. It's a difference between. Like if you call someone toxic, that's like saying they're toxic. They've been toxic their whole life from birth to motherfucking death. They're going to be toxic. But people, everyone has the capability of, of having toxic behavior within a relationship. It doesn't make you toxic to have toxic behavior. Hell, I've been toxic once, once upon a time, a couple points of time in relationships. I was toxic, like daddy issues triggered type toxic shit and lashing out for no fucking reason. So it, and I'm not toxic. Like now you'd be like, girl, you was doing that. Yeah, I, I was wilding the fuck out at one point in time in my life because I had all of these issues that I had not worked through and I was trying to love people and I didn't even know what love really was at the time. So everyone has a capability of being toxic. Someone here may have some clarity that some sort of partnership that they have was toxic. Someone wants to allow their concerns better. Someone wants clarity. Someone wants happiness. So someone wants to put an end to toxic behavior, low vibration behavior, situations that are based in 3D, nothing fulfilling. And someone really is in the space of wanting to move forward. Now, from what I'm reading here, you may, if you're the person that is being left there may be some toxic traits that are being expressed now because there's a resistance to being able to make a decision to move forward there's a resistance eight of cups in reverse of a letting go someone is in a space of trying to have patience um really acting off of impulse and not acting off of clear mind clear thoughts so seven of wands here we got the six of swords yeah someone's resisting moving forward someone doesn't want to move forward empress here could be a feminine energy seven of wands world someone's resisting the end of a situation it's like resisting the end of the world you you can resist it but it's it's going to happen so six of cups here with the four of swords someone is needing to retreat from past memories past situations i feel like someone's in a space of just holding on um out of out of impulse but not out of true desire like the reasoning for holding on has diddly squat to do with love or anything associated with that the reason why someone is holding on here is because they don't want to lose okay there's 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 someone is feeling like if i just have patience with it like they're acting out of their impulse like i just gotta hold on to this you know how okay you know how, um, say for instance, you know how if you're walking and your ankle twists, you automatically throw your hands out to catch something, even if there's nothing there. It's an impulse. So this is like someone having the rug snatched from under them and they're trying to hold on because it's an impulse. Like, whoa, I didn't, I didn't want this to come undone right now is what this looks like. Even though this may have been well in the, in the making, it may be some knowledge that is making someone kind of act out. So we have lover's card here. Why is this lover's card here? Could be Gemini. King of Cups here. Someone's someone has another lover. But someone has anxiety. So someone's really trying to have a lot of patience. Justice here, five of pentacles, ten pentacles here. So someone needs to be in a, now this could be a divorce, changing changing in change of a foundation, end of a commitment. Um going from the someone could be committing to doing what's right for them by making a decision to move forward. I feel like someone is really needing to overcome their anxieties, their fear, and really make a decision to extend their energy or move forth in their life. This seems like all week, it seems like I've been reading the same message in different ways. So we definitely need to break a cycle here. We got full energy here. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, and the Five of Wands. So I take it this is about moving forward. Like you have an opportunity. Six of Wands here. This is about move, moving forward, having victory. The Fool card is about taking a leap of faith. This is about like actually um, allowing yourself to kind of jump out there or, you know, put yourself out there. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups. I feel like you have an opportunity that will bring you like true happiness. Like Ten Cups is all that's. That's all the love, all the emotions, all the abundance, all the prosperity. That's everything. But it's good. It's stable. Um, it's like Fort Knox, you know. But someone has an opportunity to, to get that. But there may be some conflict. Five of Wands, either conflict from another person. Maybe whoever is in your past, you know. 
when I say whoever's in your past, I don't want y'all to think I'm talking about somebody leaving somebody and going to somebody else. <laughs> Everybody in the world probably got an a, a ex or two or ten that will not leave you the fuck alone. So, or somebody that is still in love with you. So we have the three of wands here. We got the seven of cups in reverse. Queen of Swords. I mean, Queen of Pentacles here. Eight of Swords. So someone is Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Tower. So someone is realizing what's making them happy. There's a masculine energy that's made that's realizing what's making them happy, making them happy. But there are some oppressions or some burdens that they are facing. Seven of Cups in reverse. I feel like someone wants to free up the illusion here. I feel like someone's ready to put some things in motion. Seeing it's sensible to break free from a, a restriction. The problem is, I feel like, and I'm going to be honest with you, either because of that knowledge, like either someone has verbally said, I'm moving on with my life, I have someone new, or I'm, I'm interested in someone new, and there's someone that's just not happy with that, or you're in the space of really living in the past within your head and needing to overcome those triggers, overcome that negative or fear-based thinking in order for you to be able to move forward like some of you guys need to let go of an old path just to move forward and it may just be energetically it may not even be an actual relationship so we have the eight of cups here it may not even be a person it may just be your mindset of, of how you are thinking things are supposed to be so eight of cups in reverse nine of pentacles in reverse somebody do, somebody doesn't want to gain their independence somebody doesn't want to be single Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody, somebody's walking away, and somebody doesn't want someone to walk away. Somebody, this is almost like, well, I'm leaving. Well, no, you're not. You can't leave. I don't want you to leave. You have to be with me. Like, that's what it looks like. Someone doesn't want someone else to leave because they don't see their own value. So we have the Knight of Wands here. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is this Knight of Wands here? We got Empress here with the Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're acting off of impulse. And I feel like you're kind of stalling your path. Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like you're trying to be in space of being method methodical with how you... When I say impulse... Okay. I told y'all I used to be toxic. I used to get into fights with whoever I was with at the time. And then tell them to leave and then beg for them to stay. So this looks like, <laughs> this looks like that bullshit. This looks like, I hate you. I don't want to be with you. You ain't shit. Leave me alone. No, no, no. Please don't leave. I, I, I was just angry. I need you. Like that type of situation. But, but a whole lot more dramatic because I was super dramatic back in the day. Anyway, so Knight of Wands here with the Empress and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like someone is acting out of impulse. Someone's ready. I feel like someone's impulsively wanting to invest in allowing the situation to grow moving forward because Three of Swords, they're feeling heartbroken. So somebody's acting off impulse, acting off pain, not realizing that this ending is harvesting a new beginning for them. I don't know if this is you. Um... I definitely feel like someone needs to find their motivation to move forward because whatever this is, 10 ones, double card, this is a toxic ass thing. It's a toxic ass relationship. It's like toxic as fuck. And it's a burden. Somebody needs to lay the burden. It's a tower. 10 of what shit me? Not somebody needs to allow the concerns to fade away. Queen of Swords, Five of Swords, somebody was lying, somebody was not being honest, somebody was being deceptive, somebody was keeping truth, somebody was, somebody's needing to become now discerning of why they continue to put their energy into a partnership that is in such low vibration. Now, if it's not a relationship, this is a friendship, and friends can be just as toxic, don't get it twisted, um, emotionally manipulative, um, even manipulative as in, you know, shaming you or verbally abusing you, so... Friendships and relationships are the same except one has sex. And an emotional companion or an emotional and even friendships have emotional, you know, companionship, emotional bond. So th that that's really the difference. Um that line of vagina, you know, dang a dang's past, and that's that's what separates a relationship, a romantic relationship from a friendship. 
So some of you guys, this could have to do with a friendship. This could have whatever this is. It's a burden. You need to release it and allow your concerns to fade away. Point blank. Period. It's toxic. So let's see what guidance we have. What messages? What guidance do we have? This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Salmon rising and Venus. What messages? What guidance do we have? Mother. Karmic relationships. Some of y'all could have a karmic relationship with your mother. That's just what I see. Messages, guidance. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have? All right, Gemini. We got imprisonment or slavery. So some of you guys may feel stuck. You may feel like, you know, you are just restricted, can't move. You may feel imprisoned either by the energies around you or within your own home. So seek assistance. Get out of it. What messages do we have for Libra? Libra, we have monk or nun. Libra as well. You could also feel restricted. As a monk or nun, that's a life of solitude, voluntary solitude. So some of you guys could be in like solidarity. Just how you say it. Like you could be by yourself in solitude, you know, voluntarily right now, trying to reconnect with yourself. Or you may need to. What messages do we have for Aquarius? All right, Aquarius, we got unrequited love. So, Aquarius, you could be dealing with a situation that is unrequited, meaning the love is not reciprocal. Could mean that you love someone more than they love you. Could mean that they love you more than you love them. Um, unrequited just means that there is not a reciprocal amount of affection or love being shown. And unrequited does not have to be just romantic. It can be familiar. You know, we, we've all seen mothers who don't love their children and fathers who don't love their children and children that don't love their parents that's an unrequited situation this is all i have actually no i'm sorry vows is underneath here so some of you guys may have taken some vows within a previous life that could be affecting you or triggering triggering you within this life that's all i got y'all y'all have a good day